Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on a MacBook Pro 13 inch. And let me show you the LCD screen. So I do have a cracked screen right in the center here, as you can see the uh, pixelated lines and fuzzy colors all around the screen. So I need to replace the entire screen, not just the glass itself, meaning that the LCD retina display behind the glass would have to be replaced altogether. So the best way to do it is the full assembly, meaning that you're gonna replace the entire screen rather than just the screen the, or the glass itself. All right, so I just wanted to show you the cracked screen here on my display and uh, if you have the same pixelated color, funny color, fuzzy color like this, meaning that you have a cracked screen and you do need a screen replacement. All right, so let me turn it around and identify the laptop for you. And this is the MacBook Pro 13 inch. The model for this is A1502. My laptop here is 2015. If you have a 2014, you can follow along with the video. I think 2013, 14, 15 are the same MacBook Pro and the same screen. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you need to have is the Pentalope P5 screwdriver. So this one looks like a little flower, have five tips, five pointy tips on it. And let's remove the screws. If you're not sure where to buy the tools from or the replacement screen, what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. Sorry about that. I pressed two buttons at the same time. So the that display right there, if I can show it to you, that display right there uh, is not working well. All right. So what I wanted to say is you can go ahead and check out the... Um, link in the description below i'll direct you to either amazon or ebay where you can buy the tools as well as the replacement uh, screen in this repair process all right once you have all the screws removed the next thing is to pop open the back cover and once you have the back cover removed the next step is to disconnect the battery the battery connector is hidden underneath here, so remove that little plastic and get your fingernail, uh, fingernail tucked underneath and remove that connector. So the battery are just like Lego, they snap on top each other. To remove it, you just have to pry it open. Here you have two little plastic and this two little plastic is the cover on the hinge. Remove the two plastic. Let's go ahead and disconnect some of the cable. This is your webcam cable. What you want to do is you want to pull the cable away from your body. So I'm pulling it towards that direction. Okay, so that's how you disconnect the, that cable. Double-sided tape, you're just going to remove it to your left. Now here comes your... Um, Wi-Fi cable and a Bluetooth. If you pay a close attention to it, you can actually see there is this extra little marking on it. So mine has no marking, it's the far right. The one in the middle has the longest marking and the one on the far left has uh, shortest marking. So let's lift the connector straight up. So the circle is bigger and it goes on top that Wi-Fi you just have to lift it straight up to remove that Wi-Fi cable this is your LCD screen cable you want to lift the secure clip connector up and slide the cable away to your right okay slide it out to your right direction at this point here what I like you to do is to get yourself a T4 screwdriver remove this tiny little screw 
and you want to remove this metal piece right here. Once you have removed that, put it on the side. Do the same process on the left side of the screen. Remove that secure plastic cover. The next step is to get yourself a T8 screwdriver. Remove the three big screws. Once you have removed all the six screws, now you can remove the entire LCD. So go ahead and open up your laptop screen. So you slide it open. At right about 90 degree angle, you can see the hinge would just pop right out. And do the same on this side. And now you have the entire screen removed. Okay, so you need to open up right about 90 degree or slightly more. Then you can slide open that screen out. All right. So I was thinking I have an, uh, a replacement screen here in place but unfortunately I do not have the screen um, I just check I paused the video and I went ahead and checked that the stock I do not have it so I really apologize in advance um, but the repair process is the same so let me continue finish up the video for you um, I do not want to stop here and not finish up the job so assuming that the new screen comes in right so let's say this is the new screen it just arrived and what I like to do is make sure you open up the hinge at 90 degree angle, at least more than 90 degree. And what you want to do is you want to slide it in. So have your computer, have your laptop slide into that hinge. So slide it in and then close it. Okay. So pretty much it's a reverse process from now on. What you want to do is you want to push the hinge back down, push it down. Okay, once you have pushed it down, the next step is to put the screw back in. So make sure you have all the six screws go back into the LCD screen. Um, apologize, I thought I have the screen in place, but I should have checked, but I do not have it. So assuming that you have all the six screws installed, I'm just going to install one on each side for now. Okay, once you have installed that, all the six screws, the next step is to make sure the safety pin connector is open and you want to align your LCD screen. Just pay a close attention to this process. You do not want to rush and bend the LCD connector, right? So once you have them in the right position, you can gently slide it down. And once you slide all the way down, you should be able to press that clipper to lock it back in. Once you have done the process, you want to go ahead and work on the this cable right here. Make sure you have it aligned in the right position and then just slide it down with both sides of the fingernail and push it down. Here comes your Wi-Fi antenna cable. Make sure you have them in the right position. That little circle needs to be aligned on top of each other. And when you press it down, it shouldn't be hard. Like you shouldn't force it down. It should be very easy. Once you have them aligned in the position and you press it, it, would sh it should just go back in. Okay. 
All right, once you have all everything all set up correctly and you want to take this opportunity to clean up your fan, if you see it is really dirty, uh, just clean it up, you know, make sure you keep your computer clean and, and, and all that good stuff, right? Do not forget to put this metal bracket back together. So you need to slide it in, in the corner here and slide it in on the other side as well okay once you have installed both of that what you want to do next is to go ahead and get the rubber plastic cover up that little hinge right there and once you have done that process that's pretty much it you just have to get the back cover going back oh sorry the battery you need to reconnect the battery okay once you reconnect the battery Get the back cover, go back in, and put all the screws back together using the Pentalope P5 screwdriver. Okay, so I hope that video is helpful to you. And if you find the video is helpful, please in return, I just ask for a little thumbs up, smash the like button for me, if you will, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't been a subscriber. And I do like to make computer repair videos for you and if you have any question comment below once you comment i read your comment i'll try to make videos for you or i try to answer your questions so talk to me and i'll get your answer to you all right thanks for watching and i hope your repair is a success bye now